Hey everyone, it is Evan here from The Trade Risk on Tuesday, December 31st. We are intraday right now, and this video we're gonna do a market recap or an update as well as some individual trade ideas. We got markets closed tomorrow for New Year's, so happy, happy New Year's going into 2020. Uh, this video is powered by our partners over at Investors Business Daily. So we're gonna be looking at some trade ideas from their stock list. You can get access to their stock list with a link in the description of this video. So before we kick into some individual trade ideas, we are gonna look at the broad markets real quick here. Uh, we are winding down to the end of 2019. It's been a blockbuster year, about 30% uh, of gains or I think 28.5% for the S&P 500, a little over 32, 33% for the NASDAQ composite. Needless to say, a very strong year. But when we look here in the very short term, uh, one thing you may recall if you caught our last weekend market recap video is we talked about um, 32.19 as our upper level sort of momentum line in the sand. You can see it's being tagged and tested uh, as we speak, as we record this intraday. So it'll be interesting to see if buyers can kind of step in here and defend this gap. There is an open gap to fill here, which we didn't quite uh, finish here uh, at the lows of today's session. So we might get a little bit more of a, of a push down here to fill this gap going down to about 3,200. But uh, the S&P, Broadly, if we clean up some of these lines here and we just look at uh, the overall structure, what we'll notice is one, uh, we are coming back down to where we hesitated just uh, last week. So it's right into this area here. And if we were to zoom out a little bit further, we can connect sort of the slope here at which we've been rising over the past three to four weeks since we had this little bit of a quick pullback uh, into the start of December. And you can see we're starting to uh, break that, that trend line, that slope as well. Now, of course, these are just very short-term views of the market here. If we take a step back, if we throw in a weekly chart here, you can see there's zero technical damage to speak of. Uh, this trend is still very much strong and up and to the right. Uh, but you can see in the short term, uh, we are starting to break at least below some prior lows, starting to violate some trend lines. And depending on your time frame, that may or may not be meaningful. So keep that in mind going into uh, the new year. If we zoom out a little bit further here, we have other reference levels below us here, prior levels where the market um, you know, gave some attention to. So keep that in mind below here is about 3190. And then we get to about 3150, which was the real sort of last kind of true breakout for the market, which started right in the uh, middle of December when we had this uh, three to four week, really three week consolidation here, two and a half week consolidation and we broke out. So this would be uh, probably the more meaningful level down here around 3150. And if we do get down there, we're still only talking about a 2.86% pullback. So very minor in the grand scheme of things. Again, when we're rallying, you know, at a 10, 15% clip in a straight line, uh, having a pullback of, you know, 5%, 7% is fairly reasonable. All of all of these shorter term levels we're looking at are all, you know, sub 5%. So keep the, you know, context in mind of where we've come from uh, and, and sort of pullback levels that we could, we could pull to. And uh, again, nothing says we have to come back down and hit any of these. We are testing the first sort of support we have in a while, a multi-day pullback here. Maybe this is enough um, of a pullback here to get the bulls, the aggressive bulls, the chasers, uh, perhaps trap shorts if, if you know, um, if there's enough dynamic here uh, for them to be a big player, uh, maybe this is going to be enough of a level to uh, support this market and, um, you know, keep us going into the new year. So that is really uh, the, the landscape here. We get a short term pullback underway, very minor at this point. So certainly know your time frame, but uh, a little bit of unwind there from the extreme froth that we've been seeing uh, over the past uh, couple of weeks several months in fact so that is the s p 500 iwm here is uh helping stabilize things a bit this uh this friday or i'm sorry not this friday this tuesday uh you can see that it is up strongly here half a percent and again that does speak to some of the risk appetite here and just the fact that 
you know, we're not getting a clean, broad-based, uh, you know, heavy selling pullback here. It's very kind of selective uh, and fairly minor. And you have something like small caps, which, of course, at the time of recording, this is up above yesterday's highs and trying to uh, attempt to close strongly on the day. So uh, let's, you know, again, keep that all in that context, the NASDAQ 100, you can see down on the session as well, uh, but uh, kind of trading back to the shorter term upper level support. So that's the landscape, what we have going into next year. Let's take a look at some trade ideas now. The first three here are going to come from IBD's watch list. First one here is DT. Uh, so this is one that I believe we've talked about um in the past, at least once or twice. Uh, this is a name that came across my radar from their stock list, their IPO lists. And you can see here that DT looking, um, you know, looking like it, it could be an explosive trade here if it can start to get through highs. Of course, there's still plenty of work to do. It's down today. Uh, so it has to break through some resistance here. But around $27, those were the initial IPO highs back in August. It had this deep sort of retracement down to about 17 it very quickly shot back up here back towards those IPO highs and you can see it's kind of just settling around here uh, and uh, pulling back a little bit off of $27 so it's on the radar it's on the watch list it's not ready yet but it seems to be building out some type of um, you know base here and if it can start to break over 27 could look pretty interesting pretty fast so keep it on the watch list again it's a young IPO name does uh, can move a, a quite a strong clip here so um, you know, be aware of, of the risks involved uh, in this security. So DT, that's the first one from IBD's list. Number two here is VEEV. -E -E We've talked about this one. This comes from IBD's list. We, in fact, had a trade in this ourselves back in the beginning of November. Uh, we were buying it in here right around where it's trading right now into the 140 support zone. We did catch a, a nice trade here towards the upside. We scaled some into strength got stopped out of the uh, rest of the position as it came back down. Uh, so we no longer have a trade in this, but we did capture some profit and kind of just watching it again here as it comes back into this 140 area. Again, you can see it's been a significant spot for the stock going all the way back to May of this year. So keep it on the uh, keep it on the watch list here. Uh, no position ourselves of, of reinitiating anything, but uh, just kind of paying attention to it around that 140 area. Last but not least from IBD's list is ACGL. So this one here, uh, slower name insurance play, but very nice uh, technical setup here. Pretty, pretty textbook. Uh, this has been a monster year for this stock over the course of 2019. It's up, uh, you know, 60, 65 percent uh, financial services sector. Uh, it's a mid cap stock. And you can see here that it just went through about three to four months of sideways consolidation. And now it's starting to close at new highs, starting to break out to new highs. MACD is leading here. So uh, looking pretty strong heading into to the new year. It's had a great uh, 2019, so uh, we'll keep this on the watch list going into next year, but we get a breakout in play uh, for ACGL. Last but not least is one name from our watch list, very popular name, uh, had a lot of hype this year, of course, for, for good reason. Uh, Roku was up uh, pretty, I think, fivefold, fourfold. Let's see, it started the year uh, down here around, let's see, $30. It's trading, now it's up 300%. So um, a pretty impressive year nonetheless. But uh, first trade initiated, uh, first time trading the stock uh, for us, uh, our Merlin trading system took a signal in this today, uh, right here at the open, got a good fill on it towards uh, one, under 128 uh, was the entry this morning. So we do have a long position initiated here. It is a volume volatile stock so giving it plenty of room here it's not um, you know not something we're looking to just flip out uh, you know three to five percent above where we bought it looking to hold this for a little bit of a longer um, trade uh, if it goes in our favor uh, but ROKU uh, is still consolidating here and hasn't broken out this is more of a reversal setup here um, triggered by our trading system so we do have it in play it's a strong leadership name uh, for the year and we'll see if it can start to perform and hold up uh, around this 133 area has some prior interest uh, which you can see going back to October and um 
even before that from this year. So that's it. That's what we got for uh, this video. A little bit of some market context heading into 2020. Again, markets are closed tomorrow, so we get a day off and then we'll start the new year. We got four trade ideas, a few different setups there, IPOs, um, some slower names and um, some more volatile names. So hopefully you had a great year. Thanks so much as always for tuning in and watching these videos uh, every Tuesday and Friday, usually on Wednesdays as well, but we're skipping tomorrow because of the holiday. So have a great holiday. We'll see you in the weekend market recap video. Thanks so much.